Hey guys, Hamish here. I want to introduce you to a project that I'm busy on during lockdown at our apartment in St. Margaret's. The first sort of DIY video I'm doing. I hope you enjoy it. So this project, basically the idea is I needed a workstation for home, for work from home, so I can free up the dining room table. Make use of this bay window. Uh, it's got fantastic lighting. It's going to double up as a sort of dining space. So here in, in, the, in the living room, we can sit here and have dinner in the window and look out of fresco style. In the uh, bedroom, it's an identical window. Uh, so tabletop's going to be removable. I can take it over that side, have a day in the office at home, give Renine a bit of space in the living room. So the idea is that the tabletop's just going to sit on top of that ledge. And it's about the right height for a worktop. The tabletop's actually going to be split. So there's going to be a very shallow sort of ledge over here. You sit down here, have a cup of coffee or a glass of wine in the evening, look out, open the windows. And then if we want to sit down and actually have a dining experience, we'll add a, a, a second section, which will then fit in there. And then it will be about 500 mils deep, which is plenty. I bought these affordable planks from B&Q. And they're actually solid pine and they've got tongue, tongue and groove features over here which will knit them all together very nicely between the ledge and the rest of the dining table fit really well and keep it nice and flush on the top i've got these battens which i'm going to use to create a structure underneath the planks and hold them all together the challenge is going to be fitting them in here really neatly i'm going to try my best to scribe it a bit of improvisation won't necessarily be professional approach, but I'm going to do my best and see how we get by with the handsaw. Let's get to it. I put together this little template over here. Really, I thought I was going to use my pencil and everything, but I've just been cutting it to size like a hairdresser, really. It fits. That's going to be that end. And we'll do another one for that side. So this is going to be the edge up against the, the window side and it's got this little lip on it and I'm just going to cut that off the saw so it sits nice and flush. We were actually thinking at one stage that maybe naming our son Irwin. So yeah, with the template, there's 165, about there. I'm just going to mark that off. So here you can see the first plank is in place and not too shoddy considering my unconventional approach. I guess we can get that angle a bit later, but I think we'll sort that out once we've got the whole thing in. So what I've done is basically put in the, the next plank and I marked off, which is a continuation of that angle there, trusting that that angle is correct, uh, give or take. Pretty much eyeball it, give it a bit extra material so that that we don't end up being shy and leaving a gap. So it looks like a pretty decent fit. So this is the first part of the table. There's a, the, just that ledge there. Glass of wine. Oh, the view. Perfect. <laughs> so the next step is to create a frame on the underside of, of the surface. I'm going to use the baton to create thick enough this front leading edge on this ledge here actually. So yeah, you can see the underside, the structure's in, uh, really just knocked together, stiffens it up, see how it fits, like a dream. The last bit, which makes the dining room table, 
As you can see, I've really cobbled it together with every last little bit of leftover wood. So this is the bedroom now, um, where I'll be working during the day. And so far, so good. The final desk part of it fits absolutely perfectly, so I'm super chuffed. This means that I'll be able to work in the bedroom comfortably and be able to make use of our one bedroom house during lockdown and a little baby. Really impressed with who have made these windows. I mean, they're like working to the millimeter. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Yes. Yeah.